Welcome back to the Target Maui Pro. We've got round two heats unfolding at the moment. Heat five of round two getting underway with Bianca Batendar, the South African, taking on Australia's Laura Anaba. And Bianca, one of the top seeds coming into this event, finding herself relegated to this second round, beaten by her best friend in round one, Joanne DeFay, followed up by a huge mid-morning snack straight into lunch <laughs> and then an early dinner <laughs> but here we go this is what we're going to see uh, the, the judges actually reviewed this situation and we could still possibly see a restart they had a good look at that wave and they went you know what it was pretty average and there was uh, not really any chance that anyone was going to lock in a decent score on that ride so a restart still on the cards. When we get 10 minutes into a heat, there hasn't been a wave ridden and the judges deem that there hasn't been a, a, any solid opportunity. We will call it uh, a restart. And as you can see there, Bianca Batendale has been loving her time over in Maui. She loves her job. Yeah, it just lasts forever. The audio on those new sessions are amazing. You can catch all of it. It's actually pretty good. You get they have external audio, which is great. You can uh, catch it all. Look at this wave coming in right now on the backside. BB, wow, nice little turn right there off the bottom, off the top. Combo's coming at you right now. There she is. Oh, kind of mishap right there. That was unfortunate. See if she can get something done on the inside. Slams it home for the finish. Not a bad wave right there. Great start to the heat for Bianca Batendar. So just getting that wave before we reach the 10 minute mark, I think. So uh, there's not going to be a restart. Bianca's going to get a solid number on the board. She is one surfer. You know, you talk about this wave suiting both regular and goofy footed surfers. She's got to be at the top of the list as far as the, the goofies on tour who figured this right out. Definitely. You just watch the way that she's able to unwind, just rotates over her shoulders here, turns this one through for that turn there. So really three pretty decent maneuvers for Bianca Betendach. This angle I love. This is the judge's perspective. Kind of a bit of a safe turn there, but then really gets into it on that second manoeuvre. Kind of mistimes it there. And then this last turn smashes it off the top. So Bianca, that's really, you mentioned that heat restart. So we've kind of, we're ways into this heat. That's going to be really a great accolade for Bianca that she got that first wave of the exchange of Laura Anova. That puts Laura on the back foot. Well, scores coming through for Bianca on that first wave. The 22-year-old puts a 7.17 on the board. And with a big result, it's definitely a shot at moving up a couple more places. Here's the replay of that wave. Yeah, Bianca Batenda, you know, her backhand is definitely one of her strengths growing up on right-hand point breaks in South Africa. She really starts to sink into this wave. And this last turn is definitely what got caught the judges' attention. That second turn and that last turn really... And this is what I truly love to do, so, um, it, yeah, it's been an emotional few weeks and just, um, yeah, hard to process a lot of things, but I was, you know, one, thinking back on France, it's the one, one thing that I'm probably, oh, I was just so happy that he got to, he got to watch me do my thing at, at my best, and um, I'll never forget that, that he got to see that before he went, so. It's been a tough wave, set to, a tough heat, sorry, and uh, set waves have been hard to come by. Laura Anaba hasn't had a scoring ride just yet, but Bianca, she's found a backup. Yeah, it's so smart. Bianca just staying busy. That 717 that she dropped earlier and then puts in this ride for a 4.5, unfortunately, goes down on the last turn. But Bianca backing herself. She's getting busy. You know, I saw her after a heat and she said she's just looking to stay on her surfboard and get busy. So she learned a lot from that round one loss. And I think, um, yeah, she's not going to let Laura kind of get the edge on her on this one. Great to have you with us for Heat 5 of Round 2, the Target Maui Pro, Laura Anova, yet to put a score on the board, but with priority, having a look at this one. And she swings. She's got a nice bit of wall to work with to start this ride off. Smooth transition to get down the line and find this piece of wall to dig into and finishes with a clean floater just falling out of the sky on that last manoeuvre. And she kicks out. So Laura Anova on the board. And she'll narrow that gap between herself and Bianca Batendar. Bianca had a 7.17 and a 4.5 on her first ride. She looked fired up on that wave, and that was one of those beautiful waves that wraps around and hugs the bay and really breaks so perfectly on the reef. You see her scratching into this one. She had priority. Bianca had to back off. 
unwinds that turn, gets a lot of speed coming into this section, holds that rail down, hits it up one more time, floating maneuver, drops down with the lip, so Laura Enova back into contention in this heat. Let's get a conditions update with Strider Wozolewski now that the tide is starting to drop out. Yeah, basically at the bottom of the tide right now, which means that this, uh, the flow of waves has slowed way down. And as that happens, it'll, it'll pretty much, as you've seen in this heat, we've had a really slow roll, a uh, few good waves, but nothing like we saw earlier as it was kind of pumping through. And I think once this tide actually gets to the bottom and, and really starts to push in, we'll actually see it repulse again and we'll see it come through, hoping that the swell is still there. I'm pretty sure it is. I think we're just seeing the bottom of the tide, so we'll have it again. Strider, can't wait for it. Love a big pulse. Just over five minutes remaining, and it looks like... Bianca is going to swoop on this one. Beautiful big green wall in front of her, stretching out, and she starts to put the foot down. Gets a lot of speed for this turn. Just silky smooth backhand approach. And she finishes off that ride beautifully. A little bit detrimental, I think, if she had to just get a bit more aggressive. I'm sure Coach Matias is like, come on, Bianca, get aggressive, get aggro. Let's see you get angry, and I'm sure... But I just love the way that she fits her surfing into this pocket. You just see the water that's displaced, that graceful style of Bianca. Hitting that one off the lip, just effortless, like I mentioned, and just hits it off again. So another beautiful ride for the South African. Well, there's plenty of flow there, and style isn't listed in the criteria, but I think flow is kind of the, the word that covers it. And we're about to see another solid score drop at 7.47. She increases her lead over Laura, who's now looking for an 8.11, but Enova has a 6.53. It's a decent number. And it's got her within a shot here with three and a half minutes to go. Fingers crossed we do see a decent set wave roll in here in the final stages. Brazil, Fiji, and over there at Trestle, she made it the last heat of the event. And when you look at the recap here, you can see why. Bianca just going to town. You see her squaring off her shoulders, eyeing off that section. That's where it is. It's all about getting on that rail, throwing the fins out. Laura Enova did get a chance to answer back with beautiful surfing from her. Her comeback after getting the injury in France. Buries that rail. Floats that tricky section. Here's Bianca again. This was her best wave, a 7.47 for this one. In some ways, kind of reminds me a little bit of like a, an Owen Wright. Such flow on the backhand that sometimes you kind of lose appreciation for how far she's going. Definitely. I mean, doing that with such speed, that momentum really carries through that force and she's able to control it. So, it Well, only 10 seconds remaining now and it doesn't look like Laura Anova is going to get a shot at a second ride. So unfortunately for Laura, this has been a very slow heat. This one coming to a close. She was chasing an 8.11. And she congratulates Bianca on a heat well served. The heat score total of 14.64 for the South African. She's moving on through to round number three.